Introducing the all new Corolla. The Port Authority of Guam began preparations for securing docked vessels in the closure of the port last night after Governor Eddie Cavill placed the island in condition of readiness too. Guam Homeland Security Acting Spokesperson D. Cruz tells PNC that the port does this in anticipation of Core 1. As of last night in Core 2, Port Authority of Guam is closed. So the harbor uh, master along with the directors closed the port. They went ahead and did all their uh, standard operating procedures to get them ready for Core 1. Cruz explains that this also meant some vessels were advised to slow their approach to the island until weather conditions improved. That means to ensure that all the ships are away and safe. Um, they don't want anything to happen to the ships that are out there in port as high seas and, and winds might, uh, you know, damage, do some, some damage. So um, there are no ships that were turned away. It's just that for the safety of both those on, on the ship and, and those on shore to have the ships uh, roll out. These decisions are made together with the Port Authority General Manager, Harbor Master, as well as a U.S. Coast Guard. Now for the island's airport. The airport, though, is open and uh, only the airlines are the ones to determine whether or not the flights are canceled. By 1030 in the morning, all flights at the AB Wanpad International Airport were grounded. The airport authority also reported that some flights headed for Guam had to turn back or were diverted to other nearby airports because of severe weather conditions. Delta Airlines announced that flights scheduled to depart and arrive on Guam today were rescheduled to Thursday, July 31st. All these preparations were made within hours before Tropical Storm Halong's estimated closest point of approach, which was at noon today. But by mid-morning, the entire island was drenched. Flooding was reported throughout the island, making some roads impassable. The closest point of approach for Tropical Storm Halong was scheduled at 12 noon today. As you can see, it's just past 10 a.m. and conditions are already pretty bad for the island. Just right here, there's already flooding right behind the District Court of Guam. The governor's office has sent out several press releases updating the island on storm conditions. Cruz reminds residents of phone numbers to call to report updates from their villages or areas such as flooding, downed trees or downed power lines. Uh, first off, they can call into the Joint Information Center at 478-0209 or 0210. Uh, anytime we're activated man 24-7. Also, they can log on to the Guam Homeland Security Facebook website and also the Eddie Baza Calvo. We're also updating the governor's uh, Facebook page as well.